How y'all doing? Shorty Vaz back here with another first look show review. And today on Beast of Sneak, we got the Barkley Pizza Max. These come out March 23rd, and they're gonna retail for $235. This shoe is falls in the same category as all the other Easter releases the LeBron, the Kevin Durant, and the Kobe Bryant shoe. Uh, and this one is uh, called the Eggplant. Although it got its own release date a week before the other ones, it's still one of the Easter shoes. As you can see, they have that purple. And teal metallic flip-flop paint going on the material to match the laces with the teal and purple eggplant spots all over the, the tongue and the strings and also it's on the Charles Barkley logo and once you get to the bottom of the cell you can see more of that eggplant that you found on a Kevin Durant as well as the LeBron James shoe and on the bottom of these you get the icy sole with that teal and they actually go in the dark and you get the tail Nike swoosh under there as well. Now, if you turn the shoe around, you will notice that it says model. <laughs> Charles Barkley was a fool back in the day with that whole model thing he had going. But that's what that says under the bottom. And the all around build quality of this shoe, I would say it's a good 10 out of 10. It's a solid shoe. If you're gonna play basketball in it, you don't really have to worry about it falling apart. And inside, you can see that you have the teal insole with the purple Nike Air logo. And the insert in there is cardboard, not, not plastic, nothing special. And the shoe does not come with a second pair of laces. You just get the Egg Planet lace. But in the back here on the pool tab, you get that Nike Air symbol, especially for the Charles Barkley shoes. And there's that Egg Planet I was telling you about on the bottom and also this carbon fiber area right here feels really good it's not any poor quality it's a really good quality it's better than the carbon fiber that was found on the um, Jordan 11's it's more like the carbon fiber on the foam posit basically because that's what the shoe is so they use the same exact carbon fiber little plate but yeah as you can see the detail on the shoe is crazy. They did a really good job. And for 235, they better do a good job. Now as for outfits and style of dress with this shoe, I mean it's a the colorway is for around Easter time, but the build of this shoe is more for like I would say it's more for like a fall and early spring shoe. Because you wouldn't want to wear this in the snow, but you wouldn't want to wear it where it's super hot outside either because it's a bulky shoe and it's black. It's going to, foot's going to get hot in it. But I'm bringing out a couple of socks for y'all really quick that you can get with these if you want to rock them on a court or with some shorts. And these socks retail for um, $14, just like any other Nike Elite sock. And I have to grab another one really quick for you. There you go. It's the same one for all the other videos. Because every they, they did one sock pretty much because it matched about four or five shoes that came out this past March. So you know, just getting this video out here early for y'all. The shoe is gonna be limited, it's not a general release. It's going to be limited. Every store that has them pretty much is going to have one size around. So that's 12 to 18 pair for every store that gets them. And every store isn't getting them. So if you have a plug or anything like that, you want to get get your uh, name in there early and have your money ready because this shoe, is no one's going to be able to hold this shoe for you. Like even associates that work in these stores is going to have an issue getting this shoe. So make sure y'all out there on y'all ground and make sure y'all be safe out there grab the shoe is definitely worth it um if not then it's not something that you'll be crazy about because 
if I didn't end up with this shoe, it's not nothing I'd be bent out of shape about. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's my take. Uh, do I think it's a must cop? Um, not really. It's more so if you got the extra money, grab it. If you um, got a little collection going and you want to have the first Charles Barkley um, retro with the with the posit, then yeah, go ahead and grab it. But it's not it's not a shoe that you would grab if you want to have like a grail or something like a main shoe in your um, stash because it's not really a historical shoe at all. So. It's more of a statement shoe. I'm just Nike trying something out, a little project. If you don't get it, don't trip. And to all the resellers out there, <laughs> you're not gonna really make that much money off of this shoe. So if you out here trying to, you know, rape people, this is not the shoe to do it. So once again, thumbs up if y'all like what I'm doing. Subscribe, check out all the other videos. This was the last video that I did. And there's three other ones uploaded with this one. And before those four, it was three before that, about five or six days ago. So you got seven videos in seven days. So y'all check me, check that out, and y'all have a good one. Peace.